Hello, hello, hello. Miss Daylight Clay here today. And how are you doing today? How are you doing? I hope everything is well with you. Everything is well with me. Thank you so much for asking. Things are going okay as well as to be expected. And I'm in the kitchen today. And I'm in the kitchen because I'm cooking. Well, actually, I'm not cooking. And if you look at my uh, about information, it will tell you that uh, I like to utilize leftovers. I like to create new ideas. And I like to explore different recipes. Okay? So that's what some of it is about. So if you go back and look, you'll see what my channel is all about. If you look at Miss Daylight Clay about. So with that being said, I'm in the kitchen today and I'm doing leftovers right now. And I'm turning leftovers into a first bite. When you have these leftovers, you wouldn't think they were leftovers. You would think that they were just made. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm supposed to have a fish fry today. So with the fish fry, of course, I have food. So I'm like, well, okay, I'm going to uh, uh, redo these ribs. I'm going to redo these sweet potatoes. I got some uh, some fresh green beans. I'm going to do the green beans. I'm going to do some macaroni and cheese because I have some leftover cheese sauce. Uh, and I'm just really getting into it. I'm just really getting into it. I'm, I'm pulling things out the refrigerator and I'm just like, okay, so uh, what can I add to the fish? The, what they say, it's going to be fish, it's going to be smothered potatoes and a salad. So, okay, so I'm going to add some, uh, some, uh, some barbecue rib tips and some sweet potatoes, some macaroni and cheese and some fresh green beans. So I'm doing this now. I'm preparing my meal first because they're going to cook at my house. So I'm preparing my meal first. So when they get here, the kitchen will be all theirs. Okay. So I just thought that I would show you what I do in preparing leftovers. So without further ado, remember, you don't need a ticket to ride with me. It's free. It's free. You don't need a ticket to ride with me. It's free. It's free. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. It's free. Hit the like button, babies. It's free. It's free. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for viewing. Thank you so much for your subscription. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm in the kitchen, and I think I better put my apron on. It was right here a second ago. Phew, there it is over there. So, I'm going to run over here and get my apron, and I'm going to show you what I'm working with. Coming right back. So, I have this apron. It was made by my sister. She's a very good seamstress. Her name is Carolyn Roberts, and she made this apron for me. And not only did she make the apron for me, but she made the, uh, let's, let me see. Just give me a second. She made the, these to go with it. So we're twins. So, you know, and I just keep this hung, you know, to dry my hands when I'm going in and out of my refrigerator. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back on my refrigerator. And I'm going to show you what I'm working with. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my meal. And you, like I say, sometimes people, you know, sometimes they're, you know, their their situation change or whatever. But however, let me show you what I'm working with. So first of all, I had some leftover sweet potatoes. Okay. And so I said, okay, we're going to have fish, potatoes, a lot of starch. So I'm like, I'm utilizing what's in my kitchen. We're gonna have a nice meal. They don't know that I'm preparing this. So 
I got the sweet potatoes. And remember that I used once before, I used some um, uh, cream sauce, marshmallow cream sauce, once before. So I put some marshmallow cream sauce. I added something to the potatoes, a marshmallow cream sauce. And I also added, you know, a few other ingredients, butter, some more nutmeg, some more cinnamon to boost the flavor. And when I put these sweet potatoes in the oven, those, uh, the marshmallow cream sauce, the marshmallow cream, it's going to be toasted and it's going to be delicious. So those are, this is what one thing that I added was the sweet potatoes with the marshmallow cream sauce. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put that in the oven. And then I had some, um, some rib tips left over. I had some rib tips and some ribs left over. And so uh, let me put a towel right here. So I'm boiling because everybody knows, you know, how your ribs are when they, let me turn the camera down a little bit, how your ribs are when they come off the grill. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm boiling these ribs a little bit more, okay? Well, not a little bit more, but I'm boiling these ribs. And in there, you know, my mom used to always add, and I got some rib tips, some rib tips, some ribs in here. I got some pork steak, and it's all in this pot. And I'm boiling them to get it more tender. And my mom would always add oranges, lemons to her barbecue sauce. And then in a lot of barbecue sauce, they have the citrus flavor to make it kind of a fruity and not so bold. So however, so this is the, the meat that I am cooking. I'm reheating it. You know, I'm reheating it, but I'm going the extra mile. I'm not just going to reheat it and put some barbecue sauce on it. I added some other additives to it, you know, lemon juice, orange juice, you know, some garlic, you know. And it's already falling off the bone. And that's what I wanted to do, fall off the bone. Because sometimes, you know, smoke don't fall off the bone. Well, sometimes it does. So, however, so I'm going to let this cook for a little bit longer. And then I'm going to pour it in a pan. I'm going to put my barbecue sauce over it. I'm going to put it in the oven with the sweet potatoes. How about that? Okay, so now what I have, I had some, um, let me get my pot over here. I had some uh, cheese sauce left over, right? I did the, the taco thing and I just made too much cheese sauce. I made too much cheese sauce for my tacos. So I had all that, my nachos, tacos, burritos. So I had all that cheese sauce left over. So in this pot right here, okay, I, I cooked me some, uh, some pasta noodles. I mean, that's all I did. I cooked some pasta noodles. Here's the pasta noodles right here. Okay, so I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to put all this in the oven. So here's my pot for the macaroni and cheese. I'm going to add, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to add some butter. Yes, 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 yes. I'm right here, y'all. Okay, and to my pot, okay, I'm going to add some, I love garlic, okay, so I'm going to add some butter, this is about two tablespoons of butter, I'm going to add some butter, put that in there so it can start melting down, okay, and with this uh, mac and cheese, I'm going to add some eggs. Sometimes I add eggs and sometimes I don't, okay? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, okay? So, I'm going to add two eggs, two eggs, okay? So, I got my butter in there. It's melting down. The ribs and the rib tips, they're doing their thing over there. They're boiling. I'm going to melt this butter down. I'm going to add some garlic, a teaspoon. Well, that's more than a teaspoon, but I like garlic. You can't go wrong with garlic, right? Okay, so I'm going to add some garlic there. And then I'm going to add these pasta noodles. 
And because um, I want to make sure that the noodles are saturated and moist enough, I'm not going to add all the pasta noodles at one time. I'm going to add just some so I can see how saturated the noodles are going to be the cheese sauce. Because I might have enough cheese sauce to saturate it well, and I might not. So I'm just going to add that those noodles with the butter and the garlic. I'm going to go to my to-go-to seasoning, you know, with the salt, pepper, it's everything that you use on a daily basis, okay? People are making their own uh, seasonings, and it's everything that you use on a daily basis. You can put it in a bottle, you can sell it. Whatever you use that tastes good, that adds flavor to your food. So I'm going to add, uh, because I don't have that many noodles, I'm going to add a teaspoon of my to-go-to seasoning to that pasta. And my and my uh, ribs and they're boiling really good I like that so now I'm going to stir these noodles around I know you can't see this is a deep pan okay and then I'm going to add my eggs I'm going to crack two eggs okay I'm going to add the eggs to it okay and I'm utilizing the cheese sauce that's what I'm doing. I had a box of noodles, what, 50 cents for a box of noodles? You know, so I said, okay, I got this cheese sauce, so what can I do? So as you see, I don't know if you see, but I'm stirring up the, um, the eggs, and I want to make sure the eggs are cooked. Make sure the eggs are cooked. Turn it, let me move the camera. Uh, let's see if I can get it right. Uh, so I, I got the... Uh, I got the, the noodles and the eggs, and they're cooking, okay? They're cooking. You want to make sure the eggs are cooked, okay? Okay, so the eggs are very much cooked. I'm going to add a little milk. Only, I'm going to add a little milk, not a lot, just a little milk, about half of a cup of milk, okay? And what I'm doing, I'm just trying to prepare a fast, delicious, flavorful meal, flavorful meal to go with the fish fry. Okay? People come to your house, they bring food. You know, I always like to add my own touch, add something a little extra to it. I always have. You know, people come to your house, you know, they cook, they, you know, hey, what's what's on, what's on your table? So now here is the leftover cheese sauce that I had. I had this leftover cheese sauce from the uh, nacho, nacho much mukbang that I made. So I'm going to just add this cheese sauce. I'm going to add it because I don't want to use it anymore. So I'm going to add it. And if it's a lot of cheese sauce, then I will add the rest of the noodles. Because I don't want the cheese to be overbearing. And this is a jalapeno cheese sauce that I had with my Mexican mug bang. Okay? And that's a lot of cheese sauce. It was a lot of cheese sauce at first. So then I'm going to stir it around. Okay? Stir it around. Mix it up. Make sure that it's melted. It's a little bit thick. I want to thin it out again. So I'm going to add a little bit more milk. Milk makes it creamy. Okay? Creamy, creamy, creamy. Okay, so, yes, it's boiling really good. The cheese is melting. And so there, I have that done right there. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the mac and cheese in this pan. I'm going to spray it. I'm going to spray it. And the mac and cheese, the sweet potatoes, and the ribs, they're all going in the oven, okay? So, so it's, it's cooking down pretty good. The cheese is melting. And it don't have to really just melt all the way because once it gets in the oven, it's going to be delicious, okay? Okay. So that's where I'm going to stop at. 
I'm going to get my cheese and I'm going to take this because I want it to be juicy. I want it to be moist. I don't want it to be dry, right? Okay, okay. So, and like I say, what I'm doing is I'm adding some extra flavor and some extra items to what people are going to bring over to my house. I mean, you know, so that's how I do it. So we're going to take this mac and cheese. It's ready. We're going to pour it in the pan. Woo! Delicious, delicious, delicious. And once it bakes, it's going to be scrumptious. So, okay. So now I'm going to add some cheese on top. I'm, 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 I'm getting there, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to sprinkle some uh, more cheese on top. And they, they, I don't know what time, that, well, I do, I don't know exactly what time, but I'm hoping that this meal is ready so they can do their thing, right? So I'm going to add some cheese on top, okay? I'm going to put some foil over it, and this is the mac and cheese. So we got the mac and cheese, we got the sweet potatoes. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna go for the ribs, okay? For the ribs and all that other goodness. So I'm turning these fires off. Okay, put that over here. Okay. Let me open up my barbecue sauce. And I normally like Sweet Baby Ray's. I even like Malls. Malls is old school, but that's what I was raised up on. But I just got what was handy for me at that time. Okay? Okay. So. Ooh, I'm having a hard time opening this, y'all. But you see them ribs is really, them tips, they really cook and they really boiling. And that's what I want them to be. I want them to be better than it was the first time. Okay? Okay. So now we're going to take this right here. Okay? Okay. And we're going to take the meat and we're just going to pour it in this pan. I don't want all that liquid. So let me go over here for a second. Okay. All right. Okay. So now let's pour it in a pan. Woo. Woo. This pan is not big enough. I need a bigger pan. Okay. Okay. So we're going to switch pans out. About, okay. And you see the ribs? You see the ribs? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So we got that there. We got the ribs. The rib tips. They're falling off the bone delicious with the lemons and the oranges. And this is leftover, guys. This is leftovers. This is what I had in my fridge. So then I'm going to take some barbecue sauce. And I'm just going to sprinkle it. And some people don't like a barbecue sauce on their food. So I'm going to put the barbecue sauce over there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, the barbecue sauce like so. And <coughs> excuse me. This is what it looks like. Okay? So now I have my rib tips and ribs. I have my macaroni and cheese. I have my sweet potatoes. Okay? Okay, and I'm going to wrap everything up. I'm going to put them in the oven, and I'll see you in a minute. 